Hi, everyone, and thank you for, for joining in today. As you know, this week is National Play Therapy Week. And um, each day this week, I've been showcasing one um, play therapy technique that I use, technique or, or um, intervention. Um, and so today, I want to talk about sand trays. I think sand trays are probably my most favorite thing to do, one of the most favorite things to do in the playroom. Um, it's probably nine times out of ten, it's the first um, activity that I'll invite one of the kids to do. Um, there are different schools of thought regarding play therapy as well as just therapy in general in terms of um, therapeutic approaches. I generally use a child-centered approach, which basically means it's not about me, it's about the child. So I would ask the child, what do you want to do today? Um, you know, after I meet them and get to know them, I'll ask them, so what are you going to play today? Um, if it's a new kid that I want to meet, um, or I'm getting to know, sometimes I'll just ask them to, um, make me a sand trip about their family. Okay. Uh, so this sand, this is one, uh, particular sand. I also have others. And this sand is called Jurassic sand. Yeah, like Jurassic Park. Um, it's it's really, really cool. I, I love um, using this. Um, you, you can't tell by looking at it, but it, it's it's cool to the touch. It, as, as kids just stroke their fingers in it, it's just soft. And this by itself can be extremely relaxing. Or just rubbing their hands in it. And so just touching the sand is therapeutic. Um, and we, we take it to another level by asking them to create um, stories in the sand tray. We could talk about bad dreams. We could talk about um, divorce. We can talk about anxiety. We can talk about um, things at school, bad grades, you know, getting in trouble. We can put anything in the sand tray. These are what's called miniatures. And um, as you can see, I have a lot, and I still need more. Everything is, is categorized except for this middle bookshelf. This is fa fairly new, and I've not had a chance to organize it uh, the way it needs to be. Uh, but there's a label for everything. Every toy um, is generally placed in um, a section that is similar in theme to um, those toys. So down here we have um, sea animals, as you can see. We have reptiles and snakes and dinosaurs on the next shelf. Um, various characters, Disney characters, you know, just, just random. We have automobiles, trains, planes, and automobiles. Um, we have not quite 101, but we have several Dalmatians. This shelf over here um, is a little darker and um, if you're not really familiar with play therapy and the dynamics of play, you would see something like those two hands or the uh, tombstone and would maybe be a little concerned. But the reality of it, our kids see lots of different things. And whether it's death, whether a two-year-old watched Freddy Krueger, or um, just somehow they've had bad dreams and it, their dream just happened to look like those hands. So I give kids an opportunity to express things that they could maybe express verbally. Um, but these are a little darker. Um, the Ninja Turtles may be misplaced. Um, but anyway, you, you get the idea. And so the kids can use any of these miniature, these toys, into the sand tray. And so one of the first sand trays I ask kids to do is make me a sand tray, your family. Um, and some may actually get the people. Um, they may decide to get superheroes. It's whatever they want to represent their family to be. Um, some of the guys and girls like um, army people. Uh, so there's lots of different teams or, um, you know, one against the other. Uh, farm animals, then we have domestic animals, and then we have the wild animals as well as zoo animals. Um, so again, I'm, I'm still always looking to add more. Um, I, I want to be able to give kids 
you know, full opportunity to express themselves in the most therapeutic way possible. Now, this little reindeer is going to stay right there. That reindeer is going to stay right there? Yeah, and so is the kitten. And so is the kitten. Did you know this reindeer has antlers? That reindeer has antlers? Yeah. Wow. Reindeers, all reindeers have antlers. All reindeers but, have antlers. But but not Rudolph. But not Rudolph? Because he's just a regular reindeer. Rudolph's just a regular reindeer? Yeah. That, I call him regular because he don't have any antlers. Oh, you call him regular because he doesn't have any antlers. Yeah. A giraffe. A giraffe. How did that get there? Whose toy is this? I don't know. Who done that? What in the world? Who done that? What in the world? Uh oh, it looks like his leg is stuck. It looks like his leg is stuck. <gasps> I don't know what ring is. The video you just watched is an example of a play therapy session that I might have with a child. Um, again, I use um, a theoretical approach called child-centered or person-centered therapy. And the idea is to allow the child to lead. And if you notice, I did not ask any questions to the child in this sample session. All I did was reflect back to the child what she was saying. And from that, I gained a whole lot of content. So there are times when I will ask um, directive questions, but um, this particular session was a non-directive session um, using a child-centered approach. And the, the, the girl was invited to just make a sand dream, and she made it just the way she wanted. These are some examples of some sand trays that have been completed that I think are uh, phenomenal or that are really detailed or that just stand out to me. So take a look at these. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My username is Alvin Bonds the second. That's A-L-V-I-N-B-O-N-D-S-I-I. -I. Thank you. Have a great day.